Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. This is Chuck. Today we have a real treat. The gentleman who went with me decided he'd let me borrow for ballistics testing his Desert Eagle L6. So you can see it has a six inch barrel, but it is ported at the end. And uh, we'll safety clear the gun there. You can see it's empty, magazine's empty. There we go, so the gun is safe. And it is the L6 model Magnum Research Desert Eagle 44 Magnum. So we're going to shoot Underwood Extreme Penetrators. You've seen these on the channel before. 44 Magnum Extreme Penetrators, great rounds. There we are. And we're also, you've seen these on the channel before as well, 180 grain jacketed hollow points from Underwood. So kind of a deer hunting load, kind of your bear defense load. And those are the two that we're going to shoot out of the L6 Magnum Research 44 Magnum Desert Eagle. All right, got a treat today. Magnum Research Desert Eagle. And we're going to be shooting 180 grain jacketed hollow points from Underwood and then extreme penetrators over the chronograph. So let's see what it gets. It's got a six inch barrel, but it is ported. So let's see what we do. Probably going to be a loud son of a gun. Here we go. I got the 180 grain hollow points right here. Good bear load. I mean, good deer load, not a good bear load. Here we are. 1539, 1546, and 1575. Man, the recoil isn't bad, but the concussion, I feel it in my teeth, you know? And here we are, extreme penetrators. These are 220 grain. Here we go, Desert Eagle. 1416, 1405, and 1394. So lots lower than what the box said on those, but still very powerful. So here is our chart for the two different kinds of ammo, our add up slide, as I call it. I'll let you pause and read the numbers. I thought it was funny that it lost enough velocity that they both got the same energy numbers despite the speed difference and the weight difference. So I thought that was kind of ironic. Put what you think in the comments. If I get one, I'd probably get one without the muzzle brake, which does lose 30 to 50 feet per second of velocity sometimes. All right. Desert Eagle, extreme penetrator. Got dinner plate newspapers like we did on Chook's 10 millimeter video. Here we go. Crush the dinner plate. All right. Crush the dinner plate. Desert Eagle, 180 grain, jacket at hollow point. Here we are. Looks like we took out the pork loin right in the top, right where I wanted to. Went through the four layers of denim. Started to expand out the back a little bit. You can tell the pork in here is all messed up inside the pork package. And then, and there's where we go. This was the hard cast with the plate, or the extreme penetrator with the plate. I feel it right in there. There's our 44 mag hollow point right there. Jacketed hollow point. Through some pork ribs. That did probably about four to five inches worth of penetration after the pork ribs. Not bad, It'd be a good hunting load for sure. If you're hunting deer with that. And we're gonna keep going for this uh, extreme penetrator. Yeah, that thing was booking. Yep, that thing was... Here we are. Found the base of it right here at about... Oh, about seven, eight inches of penetration. Extreme Penetrator 44 Mag. 
Well, there's two bullets out of a Desert Eagle. Nate, put in the comments what you want to see out of the Desert Eagle next time when we get a chance to get together again. And support us on Patreon. Like, share, subscribe. God bless. Take care. We will see you at the range.